Hey guys, so this is the second uh, of three special episodes that I am making for you this evening. This one is the top 10 games that I would like to play in 2012 um, for the next year. Uh, basically, I have not had much time this past week. This next week, I really won't have any time. Uh, so I figured I'd, you know, use the time I had wisely right now uh, and just, you know, make some videos. So let's get right into it. Basically, they're not in order. They're not all that expensive, except for in the next video, which is the ones that, the top ten I want to collect. Those are pretty expensive. Uh, these ones, they're not. Some of them are, not all of them. First one is Super Noah's Ark 3D, or Super 3D Noah's Ark, actually. So Super Super 3D Noah's Ark is a port from uh, the PC game, same name by Wisdom Tree. It's the only unlicensed Super Nintendo game which makes it extremely rare and that's basically why I want it but it, not just that it's uh, it looks really cool to play kinda like Wolfenstein but less violent. Then we've got the very well known um, and well respected Super Dodgeball. So of course the way that I know this game is through the Pat the NES Punk's review um, you know, basically, I, the things that I'm looking forward to about it are all the things he mentioned. You know, the way you get shot off the screen like that so violently. The way they turn dodgeball into this really intense sport, which I guess, I guess it can be. Um, and yeah, I, at first I thought it would just be some random alternative sports game, but no. I'm really looking forward to playing this one. Then there's the game Mappy Land for the original Nintendo. Um, I don't actually know much about this game. I just know that there's a game called Mappy for... It's an arcade game, I don't know which, it, just for arcade. And it's an amazingly fun game, you know, you have like a mouse and you bounce off trampoline, trampolines and stuff. It's incredibly fun, so I'm assuming that Mappy Land is going to be fun. Next up is Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure, which is a crazy game. So Boogerman, a uh, pick and flick adventure, has evaded me for quite some time now, but... I'm hoping to get my hands on it eventually. I've never seen it out in the wild, drift stores and all that stuff. But, you know, it looks like a ton of fun, kind of like Earthworm Jim, just even wackier. Who knew that was possible, eh? Yeah. Then we've got Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, which is a game that I've been looking for for quite a while now, and um, I've only seen it in diet condition. I saw it, I think, for $30, which is what I could get it for on eBay, except that the condition was deplorable, you know, there was a huge bee engraved in it, it was like yellowed, didn't want to get that, um, I don't, I don't think I'll, it'll be a game that I actually play, you know, through its full length, I think I'll just kind of pick it up, play it for, you know, like an hour, and that's it, then we've got Contra 3, which I have seen before for, you know, 25, 30 dollars, but I just couldn't pick it up, because there's so many other games that I'd rather put that, that money towards, you know, 30 dollars can really get me something a lot better. Not that Contra 3 isn't good, you know, I'm sure it's a lot of fun, it's just, you know, something rarer. Then we've got Battle Chess, which uh, I'm sort of a fan of chess on, you know, game consoles and stuff. So I just assumed that, you know, adding the battle features to it will make it more fun. I haven't actually looked into that one. Then we've got Soul Blazer, which my, uh, which my issue of Nintendo Power over here um, says is, you know, really revolutionary RPG they said it was not known that well but it does a lot of things really well so I trust them on that I've seen it a few times and I heard it recommended before it's a game I'm really looking forward to playing then unlike my usual stuff uh, it's a newer game Pikmin uh, the only time I've ever, I've ever played Pikmin were at demo stands in uh, you know like Walmart or Toys R Us and from what I have played uh, it's a lot of fun so I'm looking forward to, you know, t trying that out some more. Uh, last but definitely not least is a Japanese released um, Game Boy Advance game called Mother 3. So for anybody who uh, has watched my Earthbound review, if you haven't, then you should go check it out on my channel and subscribe. Um, they know I love Earthbound and this is its sequel. Uh, you know, the graphics kind of refined and all that stuff. Same idea. Uh, it's where it's actually where Lucas came from, some Super Smash Bros. Ball. Yeah, really looking forward to playing this one. So thank you very much for watching my top ten, um, you know, games that I'm looking forward to play playing for 2012. Um, of course, these are not all the games, and you know, they're just the ones that I thought of, thought of right right off the top of my head. Um, 
you know go ahead and comment on what you know the, what games you're looking forward to playing or buying uh you know like my video subscribe all that stuff and uh yeah see you next time thanks for watching